for joining me for the first episode of Delicious Disasters, where you guys get to watch me probably fail at all your favorite Pinterest, Tasty, and recipes from the internet. Why am I doing this? Well, I suck at cooking, and I suck at baking, and you guys are going to have a lot of fun watching me fail at both. If there's a recipe that you guys want me to try and make, please comment below and I'll give it my best shot. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more videos of me failing at cooking. All right guys, what are we making today? Well, today we are going to make my arch nemesis chicken curry, chicken mango curry actually. I have tried throughout my life to make curry three times, once in the oven, once on a stove top, and once in the crock pot. And I have failed each and every time, every time it has curdled. So today I'm gonna give it one more attempt and we are gonna try and make this recipe. If you guys wanna try out this recipe, I'm gonna put the link down below in the comments. Guys, next, we are going to chop the mango. I've never peeled a mango before, so... Wish me luck. Oh, mangoes have pits. Did you know that? I just remembered that right now. And last but not least, we are going to cut the chicken. I hate touching chicken, it's disgusting. So let's cut this up. Guys, now we are gonna start following the instructions. I added some oil to this pan. Get it all nice and oily. First step is to fry the onion and pepper until soft. Not really sure what exactly that means. I also feel I should have used a bigger pan, but that's okay. All right, well, my onions are burnt, so I guess we're gonna add the spices next. Oops. Oh, that was the garlic. All right, guys, next it is telling me to add the coconut milk. This is the part I always fail at. So we're just, we're just going to do it. Oh my God, please don't curdle. Next, we're supposed to add the mango and the vinegar and let it simmer. I don't really know what simmer means, but uh, let's let's add the mango. I blended this in my magic bullet. Oh my god. Um, does simmering mean bubbles, or I don't know. I might have made this too hot. Side note, why are there little balls in my meal? Well, I couldn't find any ground coriander, so that was the best I could find. So we're going to see how it turns out. All right, here comes the chicken. Uh, in retrospect, definitely should have used a larger pan. All right, let's take a peek how this is doing. That is hot. So we're going to use our oven mitt. Looks pretty good. I have made a mess everywhere. Check out one of these. Oh, it's also burnt on the bottom. Uh oh. Oh no. Guys, just want to show you this is now what my baking pan looks like. Hopefully, that comes out in the dishwasher. Well, everyone, 
that is my mango curry chicken. If you guys want the recipe for this, it is down in the comments. I'm pretty excited that I did not curdle this attempt at curry with the taste test. It's okay. It is not the best curry I've ever had and I probably should have not added all that coriander because now I have a whole bunch of weird spicy balls in my food. But thanks for watching me struggle through this one and please hit the like and subscribe button so you guys can see more of my attempts at making some recipes.